If you haven't heard of Space 1889, now would be a great time to check it out. Okay, quite a few weeks ago, about a month ago, actually, I received this package. I received a notification from the shipper saying it was coming, and about a week after that, it arrived. It arrived in pretty good condition. You see that something had been you know, sitting on it. I think you can see that there's a, a bend here, and uh, this corner uh, got some love. You know. But, you know, basically speaking, it came, it came through in good condition. The problem was, and the reason why it's still not open a month or, or more later, is that the email that was sent to me saying, hey, we're sending you this package, you know, keep an eye out for it. It had the product name of something that I had already received years ago. So uh, I thought it might be an error, and so I waited until it actually arrived. It arrived, uh, and what I did was I sent a message off to the company saying, hey, you sent me something that I already had received years ago. Thank you very much. How do you want me to return it? And it has taken a month to get an answer. And it turns out, apparently, that the item has such a long title that it has the effect of demonstrating the, the wrong title. So on the invoice that I received, I was expecting, or the invoice states that I'm, I'm getting this uh, product I already have, where I was getting a product in the line, <laughs> but the, the full title wasn't printed out in the invoice. So this is probably something that I am supposed to get, but there's a chance it's the thing I already have. And so you are here with me and we'll find out. Now, what is the line? This is for Space 1889. And the distribution for Space 1889 is being handled by Games Quest. And they have been excellent in uh, you know, communicating online. Not surly or you know, uncommunicative. It's it's been moving at a let's say stately pace. However, it's been moving and it's been pl polite throughout. They understood what my what my problem was, and uh, you know, communicated with all the parties involved, uh, and kept in touch with me when there was a, a longer period where nothing actually happened. So, I've got uh, you know, I'm giving them good marks for their customer service. All right. So let's take a look inside the box so you can see how this was packed up by them. All right, so we've got air pillows on top of bubble wrap. The bubble wrap surrounds the product, and then underneath that is more air pillows. All right, now I can already tell by looking at the, the color through the bubble wrap that this is an item that is actually due to me. What is the item? Well, this is part of a follow-up Kickstarter for Space 1889. That was part of the confusion. The, space, the original Space 1889 Kickstarter was massive, and all kinds of products have been you know, being released uh, over the many years since then. And this is the Mars Sourcebook. This is the limited edition of the Mars Sourcebook, which was done in a separate Kickstarter. And it's kind of, you know fallen by the wayside in terms of remembering that I had pledged for it because the the PDF for it was also a part of the Space 1899 uh, Kickstarter. So anyway, I'm having difficulty getting this open with just one hand. So I'm going to put this down again. All right. So this is pretty tenacious bubble wrap. There we go. So just leaving it just like that, we can see that there is a ribbon, and uh, this is the back of the book. I'll pick it up again. So 
So through the shrink wrap, we can see that there is a nice, you know, faux leather texture. And we see the Clockwork Publishing logo. And we've got our spine. That's nice. Right. And get in focus there. See if we can get that there. That's kind of nice, don't you think? So the leather for Space 1899's core rules was a very soft, kind of like kid glove uh, leather. A little too soft to feel comfortable using at the table, but it feels really nice in the hand. This feels already, even through the shrink wrap, to be more durable, more usable. And the original was, you know, like it looked like a, a heat treated brand seared into the leather. This is uh, not quite so extreme as that. It's still very nice. All right, I'm going to take the, the shrink wrap off, which I'm presuming will take more than one hand again. Let's try it from S. That was the right decision. Right. right. Over another voyage to Mars. Let's open it up. In the middle, we have a black and white interior. Okay. This was one of the stretch goals, color end pages, showing the, the Mars map with its political divisions, right? The political map of Mars. We'd received the map of Mars as part of the original Kickstarter, which just shows the features of the planets without uh, these distinctions. And then the rear end papers, yes, the rear end papers are hidden by the map, right? And so, as you can see, this is the languages and resources of Mars. So I think this is a really fabulous touch, All right? And then we have the map. We have the three faces of Mars. So this is a map that we already have, right? And then on the back, it has the languages and, if I'm not mistaken, the political aspects. This. So the end papers are on the back of this paper copy of the Mars map. So this is really quite nice as a source book. This is a source book just for Mars, clocking in at this is the last page of the index, that's page 224. And in case you're not, not certain, this is the ubiquity version of Space 1889. And if you've never heard of Ubiquity before, and you just kind of clinked, clicked on the link because you like uh, Space 1889, uh, the, the line has received a massive resurgence. The original creator is, is a participant in, in making this happen. It has been given its resurgence through a German company whose English name is Clockwork Publishing, and they have been running Kickstarters to translate them into English. And unlike other translation projects that I've uh, that I've backed, they do a good job. They are uh, are functional and uh, and they read pretty well. They're not perfect, but a lot of care has gone into them. Okay, so there's an awful lot of information in here about Mars and running campaigns on Mars and that sort of thing, expanding the line greatly to cover a, a different feel than that is than that is presented. Uh, in the core book by itself. So this video is an unboxing. It's not about what's in here, and we'll look more at what's in here and other aspects of Space 1889 in videos specifically for that purpose. But we'll finish off here with a look at the table of contents. The last entry in the table of contents is page 220, and the PDF cites the page count as being 222 pages. In the printed book, this map, as I've already shown you, and the other map make up the end papers, and in the PDF they come just before and just after the text of the book, oriented in landscape instead of portrait. 
be prepared. The books themselves are A4, meaning they stand taller than the other books on your shelves. When you put everything together, taller pages, tiny font, and the great history of space 1889, you're looking at a game line that offers incredible excitement for exploration.